Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Thursday, June the 15th, and I'm just out on my balcony. It's been recently rebuilt. I haven't been able to use it for the past uh, six months, so I'm quite happy. And what I'm looking at here is, this is the uh, mounting for my HF buddy pole. Uh, different mounting. Before there was a flat steel beam here, which was pretty steady, but it's a different arrangement now. So I've taken the mount and I've mounted it sideways with the uh, insertion point at 45 degrees. And this is my marine antenna here. I thought I'd try the marine antenna on the new mount. And uh, I've had to change its orientation as well. It used to point this way, now it's pointing up. So I've got a C clamp to firmly secure it. So um, I'm pretty amazed actually. I'm, I'm quite a ways away from the harbor and I'm actually receiving some AIS contacts. So let's go inside. So there's the uh, RG58 coax from the marine antenna. I'm using a version 3 RTL. And right now I'm looking at SDR Angel, which is really sensitive for AIS. It's amazing. And you can see at um, 87B and 88B, you can see there's activity there. And if I switch over to the map segment, I've got two workspaces here. So there's my workspace. And believe it or not, I'm receiving um, a bunch of contacts there. Where they're coming from is basically, um, looking out the window here, over here there's a break, it's around azimuth of 170 degrees, sorry, 130 degrees, and that's where the contacts are coming in. If I switch to Google Earth here, uh, these contacts are down here, so it's coming in that break between the buildings. So I'll switch over to Camtasia. Okay, so we're looking at STR Angel here, and I've got two workspaces. I've got the uh, RTL SDR receiver and the two demodulators on one workspace and I've got the map on another workspace. So you can see here at one, 161 point, uh, I guess it's 975 and 162.025, that's 87B and 88B, you can see traffic there, so that's happening. And you can see in the demodulator there that we're receiving messages. both of them and over on the map view here uh, you can see that we're receiving two contacts now um, this is pretty amazing because normally I'm down at the harbor front but I'm quite a, a long ways away from the harbor yet I'm still able to pick up signals they're coming through a gap I've got several gaps or I'm surrounded by by very large buildings here but there's a big gap at around 130 degrees and at 180 degrees if I go over to Google Earth that's where the traffic is coming in there at 130 degrees. That's the gap between the two buildings. So I've got several gaps, like 130 and 180 down here. So, and let's see, I'm, uh, I'm five nautical miles away from the harbor, but there's all sorts of obstructions here in terms of uh, land, uh, land height, elevation, etc. So that's pretty amazing that I'm getting traffic uh, before. I tried before and I wasn't able to get anything, but uh, that's pretty good.